um, just by Nick. So just this area generally, but to the experienced archaeological eye, there was a sort of a slight raised area there, which could have been the limit of what went into the burial mound on the other side of the hedge, which we'll have a look at. And then all this area, so between last year and this year, has broadly been opened up. And this is where they found the post holes. And so these folks here are digging into the post holes to get down to where the either the natural surface is or you know at the bottom of a post hole sometimes you can be lucky and find artifacts or rotted material that could be used for dating or analysis or uh, plant pollens and seeds that kind of thing so they're being very careful about how they do it but you can see there would have been this line of big big posts there and last year somewhere along this area in a similar way into this stone material okay. so, we're going to try and, so at the moment it, the stone material looks like it's it's tumble or it's yeah. material that's from the monument but yeah. probably as the monument has has gone into disrepair yeah, yeah. it's five and a half thousand years old so it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's kind of fallen apart a bit so the hope is that as we take some of this loose material off we will actually come across um actual like existing walls or architecture yeah, or yeah. structure. Something but more substantial. We, we know one of the fence posts, so the one just at the far end of that trench, hmm. when they replaced that timber post, the hole that it was sitting in was about six or seven courses of oh, yeah. dry stone wall yeah. behind yeah. it. So that, that Which is like classic Neolithic stonework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of the Cotswold 7. Um, right. Long barrows, long cans. Um, we see that kind of architecture. Are you hoping you might find a bit more of that? That's, that's okay. kind of hope, yes. It would be lovely if we could see yeah. big old walls running across here. Cool. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay, good luck. Archaeology, big time. The Neolithic is all, this is all a Neolithic site, um, and the Neolithic, the New Stone Age, um, started in Britain around 4000 BC, 6000 years ago. But it started in the world in sort of Mesopotamia, which is Iraq, Iran, Israel area, about 6000 BC, 8000 years ago. 
and it came after the Mesolithic and then the Paleolithic. And what was significant or really important about the two people walking this way, what was significant about the Neolithic is that the previous Mesolithic and Paleolithic, they were the hunter-gatherers. And so their lifestyle was not to stay in one place. And so you don't get many settlements and fixed locations because they were basically following their food. So they'd be following herds of animals and maybe following where the fish were, depending on what time of year it was. Um, I've got a feeling I'll be starting again in a minute. Um, whereas the Neolithic, it was the first farming. And because it was farming, and you were clearing woodland to grow stuff on, then you had a fixed location. And so that was the beginning of modern society, because you had the growth of villages and then towns. You got a change in society, because you got a more hierarchical society, and you got more specialist skills. So, so that was the background context. So the Neolithic was really important because it was the beginnings of modern society. No near approach to it. And interestingly, just to talk about Neolithic burials, we think about the body being buried. In the Neolithic, it's a bit more complicated than that uh, because in some of these burial chambers, there are separate chambers and separate kind of rooms. And it appears that instead of putting occasionally they put a complete body in but quite often it appears that when somebody died they would leave their body outside somewhere for it to be picked clean by animals or birds of prey or whatever and then when they were finally put in for burial they weren't put in as complete skeletons they'd have one area with leg bones and another area with skulls and another area with arms and so you'd get quite a jumble of different people's bits kind of in different areas of the burial um, chambers which is interesting but also when they've done analysis of those in other sites where they found more in the way of human remains the time span over which they were buried could be a really long time like three four five hundred years and then sometimes they'll get a real anomaly where there's some bones that are much older, as though somebody has been passing along from generation to generation a bit of great-grandpa or great-grandma that was important. And then at some stage, thinking, well, we'll, we'll bury them. Maybe that's when they were moving on or whatever. And sometimes they'd find some pieces of burial under people's houses. So contact with kind of ancestors appears to be really important. And so you can you can never know what their beliefs were, but you can start to speculate from what's known as burial systems. But when going, I mean.